Welcome back to Mom and Buddy. Today we are going to talk about the Benchmark slide stainer manufactured by Vantana. The slide stainer consists of three different components. One is the computer, which we're not going to show here. It's just an ordinary um, desktop computer. Um, the other is the um, fluidic module. On top of that, of course, with the covers on, sets the slide stain module. First of all, on top of here, sets a big um, um, holder for the reagents. There is two different drive motors to this. Both uh, motors drive. Uh, both motors go to a belt, and it drives your reagents around in a circle. Well, above here is a dispenser. It's a pneumatic dispenser and simply a solenoid which when the reagent comes over the slide that it wants to put a reagent on it simply comes down and pushes out a sample. Also you notice that there's a slot for the barcode reader. Um, the barcode reader reads both the reagent that sits on top into, these carousel, into the carousel here and also reads the slides on the slide carousel. I'm going to push the front, lower the lid, and we're going to raise it. Underneath here is the major working components of the system. Of course, you've got this bottom carousel, which is where the slides go. Each one of these um, are numbered. Uh, and the slide goes, of course, across here. These are heaters. Each heater is independent. Um, when it comes electronic, they kind of do them in groups of four. However, these are very easily replaced simply by two screws in the front, take it out, and the cable pulls right off. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. But the carousel moves the slides into the positions to uh, carry out whatever step is required to get a good stain. In the back here, you're going to see different uh, stations. And there's two stations out front, and actually one right here in the back. Way in the back, you've got a module with, with um, solenoids on it. Underneath there, you'll see a, a little block where a lot of your reagent tubings go to. Again, I will get into detail a little more uh, here shortly. On top of that, you've got an I.O. board um, that controls all of these solenoids. You can't see that well. Again, I will be. Uh, we we've got this broken down, so you'll be able to see it at a later time. You got the barcode reader. You've got the motor back here, which is what turns the lower um, carousel. And you've got a motor up in here that you can't see that turns the upper carousel. Right here is a detector that determines what reagent. It actually goes to a home spot and from that spot it can step it through so that the proper reagent is to, uh, delivered to the slide. You have a microprocessor control board right in the back here. Now on to the back. It's relatively simple on off switch. Of course you've got two fuses in here. Um, the power module. Right here is your power module. A uh, few screws, that whole assembly pops out. Fairly easy. Input and output, uh, input comes in down here and the output down here. Notice this is where all your reagents and so forth come into it. Let's spend a quick second on the power supply. It's right inside here. Here again, you can see that it's a simple three wires in, two set of wires out. Pretty straightforward. Again, screws take it, screws take it right out, and the, the outer case pops right off. No fans that I can see, and I've never done any work inside the power uh, module at all. Let's take a little more of an in-depth look at the slide staining module. 
what I've done is I've taken the assembly apart and we're kind of going to do this uh, a little different uh, than I've done in my past uh, videos uh, mainly because of how enclosed this system is. What you see here is the motor that drives your slide carousel around. You see down here, you see some, these are magnets, two of them. When they go over, they hit a switch to this detector, and that's what tells the unit what position the slides are in. One through twenty-four. This is the the assemblies that I've taken out. You've got the module that holds all your slides. Again, each one of these come off. And you've got what's called a smart carousel board. We'll talk a little more in depth later on about that board. Um, number one thing from my experience that you that goes bad with it. That's why I have this assembly out and tested like I do. This is the waste chamber. It sits right on here. The waste, once it pours onto the slide, goes into this. And it actually sits like this and goes out through that drain right through here out to the waste bottle that's underneath the unit. Um, by the way, for the preventive maintenance, that needs to be cleaned out because you will find that clogs up once in a while. So essentially, this goes on top of here. Like so. On top of that, go just carousel and it's very easy to take this off it's not a very complicated unit as far as that goes it goes relatively on and off fairly easy it's essentially four screws or four big screws by the way not the little ones and that's what you, that's what you have that, that that bottom chain drives the slides around now we're going to take this back off. I'm just giving you a picture of it. What I want to show you is this is a side assembly that goes on here and holds the, wa the waist shroud in place. Underneath there you're going to find two, two bolts. That's the sensor to determine if, if you get too much uh, reagent and um, waste into this bowl here uh, essentially they short out and uh, send a signal out the key thing is they're just bolts so you can ohm it out quick enough uh, if there's any issue there in this corner right here sets the IO board and a block of solenoids EV valves you see under here a majority of your tubing connects to these ports, comes right through this hole through here and goes to the tubings. Of course the EV valves are controlled by the I.O. board. It sits right up here in this corner. Break. Also back in this corner sits this block of EV valves. This is kind of hard uh, assembly to find and see, that's why I'm pointing out that it's there. Then you have all the little stations that sit in here in different spots. Hopefully I got these set up in the right spots. Again, we'll go into these independently uh, because these are the stations to dispense your reagents and your cleaning and your mixing and all that. It's really kind of a neat unit. And uh, just again to clarify that this, this does stay pretty hidden back here. And of course, again, I'll repeat myself, we'd be putting in some IO board and some modules right back there. 
a controller board, a microprocessor board, right into this little corner. Let's see, I think it actually goes in like this, right into this little corner. I will point out that there is a pressure gauge, strain gauge, for to, to monitor the um, air that comes into the into the system. Okay. Next thing what we're going to assemble real quickly is the barcode reader. Barcode reader comes in here like so. You can see the mirror. I don't know how well, but the mirror is right there. And this is activated by air, a pneumatic signal that essentially moves. Let's see if I can move it effectively. It moves this back and forth. Okay, I'm right, it, right there. And that's what picks up the both from the, from the slides and from the reagents. It just reflects the barcode on. And that assembly sits right in here. See if we can set that in here just for now. All right, well just, just to give you an idea. On top of that, you have the upper portion. This assembly, of course, goes right on top like so. You're going to point out different little components. Here's that injector. Notice that it works off of air. This is what actually pushes the reagents into the uh, onto the slides. This is the motor that turns. Um, it's almost exactly like the bottom one that, that rotates the reagents in a circle so that the proper reagent is dispensed. You have a detector right there. Um, and of course you have the display keyboard type uh, board right up there. Let's take a little look at the uh, little, a little more in depth look at that one of those components. Essentially, this is the motor. This is the gear that your tray that your um, your reagent tray would sit on, and of course this moves. Also, finally, we did. there's two pinch valves that go right into here. One more set of e-valves that go in there somewhere. Okay, and these are all, of course, underneath all of this stuff. So it is somewhat hard for me to show you exactly what all these internal valves are. And some of these back valves are not that easy to get to. Thank you very much for attending this session of, of training on the Benchmark slide staining systems manufactured by Vantana.